What is going on everybody? Yvonne here. Now, as I'm sure you guys have heard, Lindy.ai is a really powerful AI automation tool. Essentially, the way that I'll think about it is that the system allows you guys to automate you guys' everyday tasks and make sure that nothing slips through the cracks. But more importantly, it allows you guys to put all the different tools you guys are using for your business all under one roof. So the way that I'll think about it, it's almost like a mix of Zapier and ChatGPT. So whether you guys are managing emails, updating your CRM, or even doing web scraping, Lindy.ai can automate the whole process. So in this guide, we're going to walk you guys through on what Lindy can do and show you guys step by step on how to get started. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I am going to be sharing my screen. So if you guys do want to follow along or even try out the platform for yourself, there is going to be a link down below in the description for a free trial of the platform. Once you guys click on the link, all we got to do is just press this button right over here. Try for free. We're going to go ahead and sign up using Google and just select the email that you guys want to use. Press continue. Alrighty. And then you guys will be off to the races. Now, because I already have an account, it automatically brought me to this main page right over here. But for you guys, guys, you may have to go through one or two questions there asking what you're hoping to achieve with the platform and then you're going to be ready to go. But once you guys create an account, here's how it's going to look like. As you guys see, this whole platform is based around the idea of a Lindy. Now, essentially what a Lindy is, it's going to be a flow of if then statements. So if something happens, then X, Y, and Z is going to follow. Or we go ahead and give it instructions. Like for example, look at this certain web page and from there on, go ahead and extract information, put it into Google Doc, etc. And that's what I meant when I said it's similar to Zapier in a way, because because what it does is that it's able to connect systems with one another and have a flow of different functions that it executes. However, the one thing that gives Lindy an edge is going to be its AI capabilities. So in addition to tying in different platforms with one another, you can go ahead and tie in different GPT models and that way they can do the work for you. So let me go ahead and show you how that looks like under the hood. So right over here, let's go ahead and press new Lindy and you guys will have an option, either create one from scratch or choose from one of the templates. Let's go ahead and see what templates there are to offer. So as we scroll down here, we can see that there's going to be templates for different things. There's going to be ones for sales, support, meetings, or emails. But if you guys want, there are over a hundred different templates here, and we can go ahead and access them by pressing see all templates. And there's going to be all the different ones here that range from podcast note taker to sales meeting recorder to sales call prep, voice of the customer, lead outreacher, meeting coach, right? You guys name it. It has it. But let's go ahead and see what a really basic one would look like. Let's go ahead and select this one, customer support email responder. That's the one we can probably relate to. So let's go ahead and check that we're going to go ahead and add it i'm going to press skip onboarding and boom we're going to be ready to rock so go ahead and go to flow editor and as you guys see it works with if then statements so in order for this to actually function we do need to actually connect our email here but i'm not going to do this because we're showing this for demonstration purposes but once you guys do connect your email and the emails received it's going to go ahead and go to that second step where it checks the knowledge base now because this is going to be customer support oriented when it says checking knowledge base pretty much what it means is all the instructions that you gave to your team Team, it's going to look through those. If we go ahead and click on it, you guys can go ahead and upload the answers to your guys's basic questions, like what to do if we need to reset a password or if the order is not coming on time, right? Very basic concerns. We can go ahead and upload a file, a text, right? Even a website. If you guys have this on your website, Google drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, Notion, Fresh Desk. But once you guys connect it to the platform, the system can actually look through it and see if the, any of the basic answers are already in there and check it out. When it comes to Lindy and pretty much all the different tasks that we're working through, there are actually different models that can help us along the way. So right over here, as you guys see, we have the cloud 3.5 Sonnet. However, if we go ahead and click on it, there's going to be different ones in there. There's going to be the fastest one, the most balanced one, the smartest one, GPT for zero mini and so on and so forth. And you guys can scroll down here and choose the ones that you guys like. But what happens from there? So this is where GPT comes in. So as you guys see, it mentions here that answer is in the knowledge base. So we're going to go down this path. If the answer to the person's question was in a knowledge base, right? So if we actually find an answer to that question, we're going to go down that specific path. And that's where the if then statement comes in the next part of the decision tree here is that we're actually going to respond to that specific emailer and here's how the system is going to respond so we're writing instructions here on how we actually want it to sound like so right over here it's saying that we're going to respond as a thoughtful and polite customer support agent we're only going to answer via the knowledge that was found in the knowledge base and nothing else if the other person asks some questions that you know the answer to and some that you don't reply to what you know and cc the user to answer the parts of the question that you can't answer so right over here we're programming the system on how to actually respond with the information that was able to find in the database. So it's going to be nice and polite and it's going to make sure that the customer is taken care of on the issues that was able to find in the knowledge base. And then there's going to be some options here when it comes to who to CC and who to input there. And if you guys want to be extra safe, you can save this as draft. So it's not going to go out automatically. It's going to be first drafted in your guys' email inbox. You guys can go ahead and take a look at it and then send it automatically. But we can also turn this feature off depending on what you guys are looking for. And from there, you can automate it even further. You can build on top of it after the email has been 
didn't send and after the reply has been received. However, the other part of it is that if the answer is not in the knowledge base, then the team is going to get an alert via Slack and then you can build on top from there. So you guys see what I mean? Essentially, Lindy works with if then statements. So it has that initial trigger. And from there, if something happens, then X, Y, and Z is going to follow. And if you guys want to go ahead and insert a specific step in there, all you got to do is just press the plus button, press perform an action. And that way, all your systems can live under one roof and that everything is interconnected. And trust me, as you guys scale, this is going to save you a lot because that way nothing slips through the cracks and that everything is accounted for. So let's go ahead and exit out of this and let's go ahead and go back to home so we can save it. And I know I said this before, but I just want to double down on this specific point is that Lindy can be used for all the different things. So if I go to all templates right over here, it can literally help you guys scribe. It can help you guys do web research, help you guys generate leads, help you guys take notes when it comes to podcasts, help you guys get ready for a sales call, have smart email triagers, help you guys qualify your guys' emails, help with support, or even transform newsletters into engaging tweets. You guys get the point. Just because there's so many different applications we can go ahead and put into this thing, it can kind of do it all. So if I was in your guys' shoes and I wanted to check out the platform, I would just play around with the templates, see which one resonates with you guys the most. Because for example, let's say if I need help with outreach, all I got to do is just go to the lead outreacher right over here, press add. We're going to skip the onboarding, go to flow editor. And as you guys see here, it gives you guys the initial bone structure in order for you guys to get started. And that way you're not starting from zero and you're going to have a much easier time. Because for example, let's say if you guys don't want to wait three days, you guys want to wait two days. All you got to do is just modify this and it kind of takes care of it. And if you guys want to modify a specific step, all you got to do is just press on it. And if you want to modify the actual agent and the way it's going to sound like, you can just do so right over here. And you can select different things here when it comes to the prompt AI, sending it manually or doing an auto, kind of up to you guys on how the actual agent is going to help you guys out. And before you guys launch it, make sure that you guys test that specific Lindy and that it's all working correctly. Because as you guys scale and you add different teams to the mix, like HR, support, sales, operations, it can be a lot harder to make sure that nothing slips to the cracks. So make sure that all of you guys' T's are crossed and I's are dotted before you guys turn on any automations, because once you guys turn it on, it's going to keep on running. And the worst thing that can happen is if there was a miscommunication in your guys' team when it comes to Lindy and then something in your business happens that wasn't supposed to happen. So make sure that all of these Lindys are set up to par, all the systems are correctly integrated, and that all the models have correct instructions on how to function. And there you have it, folks. As you guys saw, automations of Lindy can save you guys so much time and energy across many different departments. By leveraging AI-powered workflows, you can make sure that all of you guys' systems are connected with one another and that you guys' time is used most efficiently. If you guys do want to try out the platform for yourself and use the free trial, there is going to be a link down below in the description. And if you guys found this video helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this as it tremendously helps support the channel. Till next time, peace.